just left Winthrop where we had woken up to a huge cloud of smoke from the wildfires nearby. We then arrived to an abandoned house outside of Seattle, Washington. Do you want to go pick some blackberries? These puppies are sick and tired of us right now. We just went on a long hike. Now we're going to get some blackberries. So we got our bowls. So this trailhead is actually really unique. I assume this is an old abandoned house and they turned it into a trail. So it's kind of creepy, but it is a like official trail. We're not <laughs> trespassing here. And look at these blackberries. This house is fully overgrown with blackberries here. Um, this is actually our first stop in Washington. Happened to be this trail and we had no idea that blackberries were in Washington until now. This is like a very tall house, well, two-story house, and you can see how tall those blackberry bushes go on it. I don't think we'll be venturing off back there. Why not, babe? I like my legs. <laughs> These things are sharp. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ow! So sharp. Mother. They're sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Blackberries! Alright, we got blackberries here. This is actually mine and Allie's. I mean, no, Allie actually only got those. I got these. No. And we're headed back right now. We probably ventured like a hundred feet. I mean, all of this behind us is all blackberries. Nothing else. If we had an armored suit, we could make thousands off of this oh, yeah. by the price of blackberries. We'd be able to purchase the property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of blackberries. And then well, pick blackberries for the They're not store bought blackberries. We think they're California blackberries from our little book, which is a little different. I mean, they're just poisonous. Yeah, that's all. They're just poisonous. Here's our pretty yes, walk back. Yes. That's my view. Allie wants to look in the random house's windows. It's not that old of a house. You want to go in there for the AC? Yeah. Go chill. I guarantee you people have been in there just messing around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Upstairs curtain's a little weird. Doggies! Where are you going? Hey, Your gear run to it. Would you look at that? Leaving the trail later in the day actually worked out really good. We ran into almost no traffic. I found a really cool parking place right outside of Pike's Place Market. Good morning, it's 7.30 and we woke up in the heart of Seattle in a very busy parking lot. So it's actually pretty empty right now. Here we are. We are going to walk to the original Starbucks right now with the dogs and get a little coffee. Which happened to have a crazy long line, so we went to a different Starbucks right next door. Location? Seattle. Downtown Seattle. Starbucks, where you have to only order on your phone. This is just like a pickup center. Now that we're all caffeinated, we took a stroll down Pike's Place Market, one of the most hectic places in the city.
The next morning, we went up to Chuckanut Drive, got water, and then took the dogs to the beach for their very first time. Good job, Allie. First time at the beach. Two little Vegas rescue pups. which is very unlike him. So naturally, we hid from him and saw his reaction. His feet are a bit cold. Don't you own socks, babe? I don't know what those are. <laughs> oh. This is the first reveal of my beautiful face. <laughs> Welcome, viewers, to his <laughs> new style. It's a summer style. It's different. I also sit like this now. I've gotten used to it now, but it's very different. It's the same old, same old. What does Lance look like in the comments? Because I no, have two. Don't say no. That. Last time I got bad reviews. <laughs> I got bad responses. I have two people in mind. We made it to Whatcom Falls. We just took the dogs on a walk around here and then we put them back so we could relax and read by this. I'm on point five, so you have to pick it. Gotta go every night, Peach. What do you have to say to people that walk their dogs and put their poop in plastic bags? I say don't use plastic bags. Literally, just kick the poop off the trail. That's what I do. Yeah. I'm barefoot. Just but if you do use toes, plastic bags, take it, take it off of the yeah. trail. Pick up We've the seen bag. four of they're them. So just stay here, and then they're never gonna go away. Literally, it's just poop sitting in a plastic bag -year -half -life for, for no plastic. reason. Example one, right at the tip of Lance's nose. Turn your nose. Oh, tip of his. <laughs> Example one at the. Example one, right at the tip of Lance's nose. Poop bag. Bad. We're going mountain biking this morning and I want to make us some good breakfast first.
shot done doing a mountain bike trail as we were trained by an Olympian trainer, not on purpose. We found him and he took us on something pretty intense for our first time in a really long time. Filling up our water because we found a pretty cool pull off on Chuckanut Drive, which has some beach access, but we kind of have to walk to it. Um, we're going to try to spend a few days there to fix up some things on the bus because it's starting to fall apart and it needs fixed bad. So first goal is get this drawer situated because this baby lock went off. So we're going to try to just screw it in there. The fridge is kind of off. Um, what else do we have to do? Come on, pups. Oh, we're going to be adding some hooks and stuff under there for our bags so that our bed doesn't get filled up like that. Good morning. Let's go. Now that we're all worn out, we went to this mini golf bar. We had a blast bringing the dogs in since they're pet friendly and they got to even go mini golfing with us. This guy was hitting on me at the laundromat, totally like cracked out. And then Lance took another shift and he, the guy was nice to me, but then when Lance came in, what was the situation after I left? <laughs> okay. There's a guy that's been coming in and out of here. He was friendly to me, but he threatened to stab my boyfriend. So I want you guys to be careful. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm just letting you know. She said we get that all the time. <laughs> Gone, gone. Yeah. That's an abandoned me. He uh, said some stuff to me, pulled out a knife and walked past me, and then, <laughs> and like a little later, came back and was like, "We'll stab you." <laughs> <laughs> and then I walked outside and was like, "All right." And uh, like a couple minutes later, she like screams from across the parking lot. Remember what I said? <laughs> it's been a fun day. I haven't even eaten yet. Nice ladies over there. Told them to leave. So Lance is all safe and healthy. After Lance slipped himself out of that situation, we went to Olympia to meet some new friends. Come here, buddy. Come in. I woke up to this morning. Lance. Hello. <laughs> Making this noise. Bye, Lance. Bye bye. Good morning, mister. Did you have a good nap? With your head so wet. Said, Hi, Lance. Hi. His eyes are so tired. Are you so sleepy? Wanna go play? Wanna go? Wanna go play? Let's go. Come on, let's go.
Come on, Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Go, baby. While she's off running, I am working on the bus. So a couple things got loose or need repairing. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm taking you back here to show you. So all of our stuff in the back in our garage is taken out. So as you can see, here's our life, I guess. <laughs> Just spread out. Now these bins we don't normally go into much. Uh, these have like tools in them, my tools, and then one of these is like spare parts that we brought, like we brought our diesel heater that we never hooked up, odds and ends like that, and then one of them's Ali's art bin. But yeah, all of this here stores right back here, and this is actually a good time to show you the back of it. So as you can see, we sleep over this. We have a grill, uh, inside that army can are toe straps for if we get stuck. Um, and then on this side there's a welder, a winch, some paint, things like that. But anyways, our water pump has been having some issues lately. So I went out and bought this water pump, which I hope doesn't have issues. However, I kind of already don't like it because like these things are quick change and I want something more permanent. I mean, the idea is not to have it leak. So see, these just pop out and pop in, which hopefully it works. That's gonna be my task for the day. Well, here we go. Well, I'm gonna do these tasks while Ollie's out jogging. What's that slow pug doing? Oh, he's taking a pee. Come on, Hank! Come on! He goes as fast as he can run. Hank, come on! Hey, go Nat! Let's go, go Carly, come on! Come on! <laughs> come on, buddy! You got it! Go, boy! Alright, so I think my first task is to figure out how to pull this out without, one, hitting my head on everything, and two, without it leaking everywhere. So, I need a, I didn't put any, like, switches or cutoffs or anything like that in the water system because we were in a rush. And I might be paying for it now because I can't just turn off the water coming out. So I might have to just like plug the end or something real quick. We'll see, hopefully it doesn't turn into a mess. This was our hill climb exercise for the morning. Still gotta go back down and up one. But we're in a big logging forest. I will type the name right here. I can't think of it right now. Right in like kind of central Washington. And there's pretty much free camping everywhere because there's so many roads made for the trees. But it's pretty cool. You can see where all the new growth is and then where they put it down and then all the old growth too. It's, it's really, it's beautiful. And it's empty. There's no one here. I don't even, maybe we're not supposed to be here, right? Underneath here sits 42 gallons of water. And then on the other side, there's another 42 gallons of water. And I'll show you. I think this was actually kind of clever. One tank is 42 gallons of water here. It's hard to see. Um, that little mess up there is one's a propane line, and then the other two are water lines. And then there's one water line. So they those are the fills to fill up the tank. And then this tank underneath this piece here is a line uh, like a hose I guess that comes across and taps into the bottom of this tank so that way they can equalize and have the same uh, level in them and then this is the fill so that's a breather this is our fill down bottom we have uh, where it equalizes and then this fitting here is where it pulls water out of the tank. What's that showing? Notch! Come here, girly! Good girl! Good girl! Come on! Where's Hank? Oh, 
<laughs> there he is. <laughs> She's so cute. You guys ready to go again? You wanna go again? Ready to go again? Let's go, buddy. Happy buddy! <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. I thought these things were gonna actually suck. How like, see they're like quick fits, where they like just punch in and then you lock it. But it's super cool because rather than having this bulky thing in there and screwing everything in, I'm able just to screw it in and then I can just. So hopefully they just don't leak. <laughs> other than that, I mean that's pretty awesome. Pretty. Boom. Boom. That's slick, yo. Storage. Boom. Hank just found a random dog bone in the bushes. Notch, come here. He just pulled out that big ass bone. So we only have one bone. Hey. Hey. Leave it. Buddy, we're cutting it in half. You're going to get back. Buddy, we can't have just one watch with two dogs. This. Think that's the way? <laughs> oh! Go, buddy, go. Go, go, go. Thank you for following on with our travels. If you have any suggestions on where we should go next or do next in this area, please leave it in the comments.